In the past few hours, we had several earthquakes in the area, which is uh, to the west side of the plate boundary of the Eurasia and uh, North America. And I've marked it here. You can see that uh, Icelandic Meteorological Office has put a star there for you. So uh, this is the chart of the earthquakes and this is the timing of them and the magnitude. You can see that and that's the data that we have, the depth and everything. What you can see here is that in the area of the Eirik Skirkolt, uh, we have actually an earthquake. This is a Toya a volcano which erupted under the ice. In the area, that is the plate boundary between the, um, the small microplate of Iceland and the uh, North American plate. Uh, the Toya that is here, uh, you can see that this is a flat top volcano. The piling up of the uh, basaltic or any other kind of uh, um, lava uh, under the ice create this uh, suppressed shaped, flat top shaped and the mechanism is here. You can see that it's under the ice. It melts the ice and then gradually comes out. Of course, we have a heat wave at the moment in the Iceland. That can create also melting of the ice and collapse. We have glaciers in that area and the collapse of them due to the heat can create earthquakes, tremors. But the depth of these ones are different, so it's not just ice. We see the movement actually of the uh, earthquakes from the south to the north. This is due to the plate tectonics. Uh, uh, opening up of the Atlantic Ocean due to the mantle convection cells. We see the earth uh, mantle, which is a solid material, under the heat moves and the pull and drag of the plates actually create that. Cracks in the ground created by this pulling apart create earthquakes. This earthquake move along this plate boundary here. You can see it. And they migrate toward the north, as you can see here. And that that way actually the volcanism moves these are all the volcanic centers toyo that the word we use is a from a native american canadian uh, area in the north america they have uh, this word first created the and in that area of the uh, glacier in the iceland we have also these mounds of the stones people are created this is a tradition of the turks azari turks or the Iranian Turks have that tradition. There are stories about it. They wanted to know the number of their soldiers and the army. For example, Tamil Lane, when he was invading Iran, had that done. Of course, this is a practice of all the nomadic people that we know in the Eurasia. Uh, we have the you know nomadic people who move, and that way we see that they have a, a vast geographical spread. Vikings were like that. Um, these are the Scandinavian uh, nomads. And also the, you know, the Central Asian Turks and uh, all those uh, other cultures doing this kind of, you know, um, making landmarks. And we have in this area some of that also. As I have mentioned previously, there are many similarities between the uh, Azari Turks of Iran, for example, and what you see among the traditions of the Vikings and the Nordic people. Uh, even the language sounds very similar. If, if you listen to them, you will uh, discover that for yourself.